want to allow other people to call me an artist. I never discovered that I was an artist. Uh, I got in a lot of trouble when I was a little kid for drawing on the walls all the time. As I got older, I loved uh, being very competitive with like poster uh, contest, uh, creative writing, where we do illustrations with creative writing. That was my early days of school, but uh, I dropped out of ninth grade and got a scholarship and went into graphic design and marketing. And I'm glad I did, that's helped a lot. Because paintings don't always sell. <laughs> In the 80s, it was a, a real big thing for the artists to, uh, we, we kind of had our own genre of uh, parody, doing parodies. Who could be the most clever with parodies? And so I've always had that in me, and that's what, that's what I still do, where I might be criticized of, oh, he's just, you know, uh, uh, ripping off uh, Minnie Mouse or, you know, Felix a cat, or <laughs> but uh, so we call it parody art. Street art is a huge inspiration for me. Uh, stencil art, uh, graffiti lettering, and then old uh, 20s animation, uh, the whole skateboard, surf culture, uh, punk rock culture of the 80s. Uh, that's what I grew up with. That's so I just take all those things. That I, that I love and was inspired by and, and just keep on putting them together, uh, forming some type of narrative art that I, sometimes I'm not conscious of. But a lot of, uh, a lot of people my age or from, from my generation can relate to it right away. And they're, they're, they're older and eclectic and they have money, so it's, it's not a bad market. <laughs> My first was 1994, and that was with uh, Ray Chavez, and he had a silkscreen company. And he was right next to Hall Wild Records, and that was my first mural that got me in trouble. <laughs> but never did anything on purpose to be uh, the bad boy or get in trouble because all it did was just uh, complicate things and made it more into a controversial story rather than um, being focused on hey I'm taking something and making a different style and bringing something to San Antonio. And I wrote a letter to him and asked hey why don't we get together and like shake hands you know like uh, the, the famous photo of uh, Elvis and the president. And I thought that would be kind of cool. That would be the Christian thing to do. Uh, no, no response. And so it made me kind of rebel to go back, paint over the mural, and give a really strong statement on censorship. Maybe a little anti-religious, but uh, yeah, I was just disappointed. And, and that was my early days of being in San Antonio. I'm like, oh, come on, you know. And uh, things have changed a lot since then. Um, you know. I, I think a lot of artists still respect culture and, and they're respecting what they do as murals, but we can, we can get a little bit more contemporary and cutting edge. You know, I've been in this town almost 30 years, so I've gotten a great relationship with all the local artists, and that means a lot to me. And, and I want to keep that respect, and I respect so many artists here, and there's a lot of uh, new school that are coming up. Uh, just fantastic, fantastic artists. And so it's, it's a surge that we can all inspire each other. That's what I love about San Antonio. Uh, in Los Angeles, in Austin, it's just so clicky. But San Antonio really has a warmth of like a family. And so, I, you know, I just hope that we don't lose that.